Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Bootramp and today I just want to have some fun. I want to use the big boys and that's going to be the all heavies. So let's load up the game here and let's see what we got. So we do have the heavies on the training and the cool thing is like if I do fail on a real player base with all heavies, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to be changing the troops. I'm going to be keeping attacking that base until I take it down. Alrighty, so let's jump into the first base here. Um, as you see here, this base has no ice statues at all. It is a pure offensive base. That means any kind of combo actually can rock down this base without any problems. So I'm starting with taking down the boom cannon, the doom cannon I mean here with barrages and kill shells and I'm also rocking down the shock launcher because when the shock launchers is shocking the heavies you're going to be having no damage and it's going to be really difficult for your heavies to apply damage on the defensive building. So I see there that's another doom cannon behind the HQ. Uh, I might shock it or I might take it down but I think like it will be really costly to take it down uh, the Doom Cannon with Barrage and Tear Shell. So I'm thinking like I should be shocking it or should I be sacrificing my shocks on the Boom Cannon. So I'm actually just shocking the Boom Cannon right now because I think like it's okay for the Doom Cannon to just shoot my heavies. Because the reload time on the Doom Cannon is pretty pretty long uh, compared to the, uh, the, 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 the Boom Cannons. The Boom Cannons have like 4 seconds reload shots. I don't know about the Doom can. I think it's like five or six seconds before it shoots. So I think like I'll leave it alone. I'll just I'll just take the damage from the Doom Cannon. Alrighty, so my heavies is on the HQ right now, and I just took down this base level 59 with 1,081 victory points like that, and. It feels like amazing to use the heavies. It's been a while guys, I'm telling you. I think it's like two or three months uh, ago I used all heavies. And it's pure fun. I mean like, when you do have like your statues boosted up, your offensive statues, all heavies is actually great. But without any boost at all on uh, the gunboat energy, the troop damage, the troop health, the all heavies troops and combo is really hard to use. Alright, so we're jumping over to the next base here, level 58. Let's see if this guy got like any ice statues at all. Alrighty, so I guess like it's a, it's a offensive base. We do have like a Doom Cannon at the start of the beach. I'm rocking down the Doom Cannon as fast as possible. Tossing like two barrages and two artillery shells. And that was clearly not enough. So I tossed like two more uh, uh, artillery shells on that one. Okay, so rocking down the shock launcher as well. Because uh, as I told you guys on the last attack. If the shock launcher is shocking your heavies. You're going to be having trouble. Because uh, you won't be having enough DPS. Alrighty, so dropping out the heavies and we're having a great st start here. There's only a, a motor and a flamethrower at the start and uh, I pretty much took down the shock launcher and the doom cannon. So I think it's going to be cool, guys. We're just going to be taking those damage from the defensive buildings like that. There's like four boom cannons behind there, but I'm going to be worrying about them later. Alright, so eating up the base slowly here and uh, I still have a lot of heavies here shocking the boom cannon and the shock blaster like that. The shock blaster is priority number two uh, on taking it down because uh, they actually do decent damage and they also shock your troops and that leaves your heavies without any damage as well. So shock launcher first. And then you're going for the Shock Blaster and you also might consider uh, prioritizing the uh, Doom Cannon as priority number one. It really depends on the layout. It really depends on the layout. Right, so all of my, my heavies in, is in a straight line here, taking out the defensive buildings one by one. And I still have a lot of heavies here. Look at this, guys. I'm enjoying this right now. Just so beautiful to watch those heavies do damage and take some damage. They definitely can take some punch here. Oh, yeah. All right. So I'm tossing out some critters here. It seems like I'm dropping down on heavies. The units are going down and that means my DPS is actually getting weaker and weaker. It seems like I might be losing this attack. I'm really not sure yet, but we will see here. I still have like four, six, eight, nine, nine, ten heavies. And I don't think that's going to be enough at all. Alrighty, so we lost this attack, it seems. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. Alrighty, so I lost this attack. And that means I'm going to be keeping on rolling in this base. I'm not going to be stopping, guys. I told you guys that. Uh, <laughs> whoa, my throat actually got, like, blasted there. So I'm not going to be stopping with uh, the attack. So I'm jumping in again here. Alrighty, so... 
What should I do here? Maybe I should do like a heavy rush here. It would work though, it could work. So dropping out the heavies here on the right side, uh, flaring my heavies on the right side here. And I think this should be possible. If we then just flank this base and rush the HQ down from the right side. Let's see what happens. I do have a lot of gunboat energy though, so I have a lot of shocks that is available when my heavies is uh, on the top of the base. Alrighty, so keep on rocking here, uh, smoking the heavies. And from here, I'm going to be blasting down the shock launcher. And after the shock launcher, I'm considering like, yeah, I'm shocking, I'm shocking the shock blaster there. And from here, I'm working on the shock launcher like that. My heavies on her right side are doing a great job cleaning up the base. So look at this. I do have like a, a, a massive force right now on the right side. Uh, but the question here is like, will I be having enough DPS to take down the HQ? Still have like the blaster and, and the boom cannon behind the HQ. Alright, it seems to be good here. It seems to be good. So let's see what happens. Tossing a critter box uh, just behind the, the heavies to prevent some damage. And we're already on 50% on the HQ. I'm dropping like a fly here with my heavies. What is happening with their HP? What is happening with their HP? Oh gosh. I'm getting burned and I'm getting shot by the boom cannons behind there. I'm dropping down really fast. As you see here, the DPS is getting more slowly here. It is far less now. Oh gosh, no, it's gonna be a wipe. I think it's gonna be another wipe here. Oh man. Imagine if I can't take down this base. I would be like attacking the ba this base forever. Alrighty, I guess like this is the game. It's all about having fun. So that is the second wipe on this base. We're gonna be jumping over uh, on a third attack then. Let's see if we can take down this base. Alrighty, so I think the rush tactic is the best thing to do here. So dropping out the warriors and the, uh, the heavies on the right side here. I'm doing the same tactic. So tossing a flare, covering up the heavies as good as I can. I'm trying to prevent damage in the early stages here. So let's see what happens. Alrighty, all the heavies is, are inside the smoke right now. We're flaring uh, to the right side of the base as we did on the second attack. Okay, I still have all of my heavies alive here. It should be good. I'm rocking down the shock launcher right there. And I'm working down the shock launcher on the uh, on the right side. It should be good now. The problem was like, uh, I, I let the shock launcher on the right side on the second attack. Keeping on shocking my troops. And I guess like, I lost the DPS there. And while the uh, shock launcher was shocking my troops, the boom cannon was peeling my heavies. And that means it was eating my heavy really slowly but steady alrighty so we cornered alright we're heavis is on the HQ should we take down or shock the blaster I'm actually shocking the, those two boom cannons behind they're tossing a critter box and let's see if we can take down this base right now the shock blaster is down and I guess like we're going full power on the HQ still have a lot of heavis alive here 80% of the heavens is alive, and the HQ is dropping down really, really fast, and it looks good, guys. I'm mean, like, I think we won this. Yes, it's gonna be a win. It's definitely gonna be a win. 5% left on the base, and it's 2 seconds left, and there we go. Just blasted down this base on third attack by rushing it on the right side. Oh my, daggers of the dangleberry for sure here. Okay, so I still think like, I do think we have another real player base on my map. It's gonna be the last one. So let's jump into the last real player base and that's gonna be Daniel. I think Daniel is uh, on region player. Uh, no, it's not, because uh, the Daniel I know do you have a gold badge, okay. A boosted up base then. Alright, a boosted up base with damage amplifier. Well, not a boosted up, but, but it got like damage amplifier. So that means I need to take down the... Uh, the boom cannon for sure, because those can uh, one-shot my heavies. Okay. Okay. There we go. The boom cannon is down. Like that. It's working on the rocket launcher and working on that one as well. Perfect. Perfect. This is perfect. So we got down like two rocket launchers, two shock launchers, two boom cannons. This base is going down for sure. But we do have like 15 gunboat energy remaining. I'm not sure here if we will be able to keep it on shocking those threats when we get close to the HQ. Let's see what happens. I'm tossing some smokes to cover up the heavens as good as I can to prevent damage. And then we're flaring over to the right side of the base. Look at this. I mean like they're running so fast. I love the heavens. 
It's just so awesome. What do you guys think? I mean, like, have you ever tried all heavy attack? If you don't have a maxed up heavy group, I do understand you uh, You find it's, this really, really hard. Alrighty, so we're flanking this base right now from the right side. Um, uh, two boom cannons are down, two rocket launches, two shock launches. I mean, like, all of the big threats is pretty much down. So I do think we will be rocking out this base right now, relocating my heavies. So they gathered up here, and they're pretty much bulked up together here. Alright, yeah, we got this base for sure. We got this base, guys. We definitely got this. All of my heavies got like 90% health, and I tossed like a med kit upon them. And of course, we just blasted down this base. And that was everything for today, guys. Really hope you guys enjoyed it. And remember to leave a like and comment down below if there's anything at all. I'll just uh, just comment there, guys. I will be tr I'll be trying to read those comments as good as I can. Anyways, keep on booming and stay tuned. And goodbye, guys. Boom.